aral sa umaga ito po. Let us all pray again. Father God, as we study thy word this morning, God, we ask for the Spirit to open our heart and our mind. Guide us again, O Lord God, that we might be able, Lord, to understand thy word and plant this in our heart and in our mind. Be with us, O God, and we praise you again. All these things we ask, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Good morning po sa inyong lahat, mga kapatid. Uh, morning. Our topic for today is uh, about Jesus wept for the city. O ang pag-iyak po ng ating Panginoong Jesus sa isang siyudad. Ang ating text po for this morning ay we can find it in John chapter 11:35 that what's called the shortest verse in the Bible. And John 11:35 told us uh mention us Jesus wept. So Jesus wept po. The shortest verse in the Bible. Makita natin. So sometimes in our life po we cry. Do you cry? So, kung titinan po natin po, mga kapatid, uh, sometimes we cry and sab- sabi po ng iba, ang pag-iyak daw po ay eh, nakakaginhawa. So, what our Lord Jesus wept? Why He wept? Titinan natin. Bakit po siya umiyak? So, because of sorrow, sympathy, and compassion. When his friend Lazarus died. He also weep because of compassion to mankind. So our question for this morning, were you able to weep or were you able to cry? For what reason did you know that our Lord Jesus cried and weep for you? For us and for all mankind, today we will study some of the reason why our Lord Jesus wept. That will be our study for this morning. Our text again. Open your Bible with me in Luke chapter 19, verse 41 and 44. Luke. Chapter 19, verse 41, and Luke 19, verse 41 to 44. Now as he drew near, he saw the city and wept over it, saying, If you had known... Even you especially, in this your day, the things that make for your peace, but now they are hidden from your eye. For days will come upon you when your enemies will build an embankment around you, surround you, and close you in on, in on every side, and level you and your children within you to the ground. And they will not leave in you one stone upon another. The time of your visitation. In Tagalog, Nang malapit na siya sa Jerusalem at natatanaw na niya ang lunsod, ito'y kanyang tinangisan. Sinabi niya, kung nalalaman mo lamang sa araw na ito, kung ano ang makakapagdulot sa iyo ng kapayapaan, Ngunit ito'y lingid ngayon sa iyong paningin. Darating ang mga araw na magkakampo sa paligid mo ang iyong mga kaaway. Palilibutan ka nila at gigipitin sa kabi-kabila. Wawasakin ka nila at lilipulin ang lahat ng taong nasasakupan mo. Wala silang iiwanang magkapatong na bato sapagkat hindi mo pinansin ang pagdalaw sa iyo ng Diyos. Ano po ang ibig sabihin? In this verse po, Umiyak po ang Panginoon. Jesus wept over the city of Jerusalem. Why? Why Jesus wept over the city of Jerusalem? Because many Jews ignore Him. They ignore God's day of visitation. Sabi nga po sa Tagalog, di ba nakita niyo po, sabi doon, kung nalalaman mo lamang sa araw na ito, kung ano 
ang makakakapagdulot sa iyo ng kapayapaan. Sometimes people, they don't know what to give them peace. So ito po, ang kapayapaan po. Jesus can 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 give us peace. Kung ditinan po natin. So, he weep or he cried because they will not find peace for ignoring him. Sometimes in our life too, we ignore God. We did not submit on our Lord Jesus. We failed to recognize the day for the Lord. When is the day for the Lord? Today is Sunday, the day for the Lord. But every day is the day of the Lord. So, kung titingnan po natin po, yung pag-arod po daw po ng pagbisita ng Panginoon, ini-ignore po ng tao. So, don't ignore God's visitation today. So, number one po, He wept over their false religion, number one. So, the answer, the answer of Abraham to rich man in Hades, dito po sa Luke chapter 16, verse 29. Luke chapter 16, verse 29. Abraham said to him, They have Moses and the prophets. Let them hear them. So, ano pong ibig sabihin nito? Na pag-iyak po. Anong kaugnayan sa pag-iyak? O sa, sa pag-iyak po ng Panginoon? Dito po, no, maraming tao ngayon mas sinusunod ang maling reliyon dahil sa kanilang mga emosyon. So many people today is trying to follow false religion. That's why over this. Kung titinan po natin, sabi po niya nga, di ba, no, iniyakan ng ating Panginoong Isus. Noon, hanggang ngayon, palagay ko rin po, iniiyakan pa rin po ni Isus ang mundo natin. Why? Because marami pa din po, so many people believe on idols, believe sa mga Diyos, Diyosan, nagawa ng tao. At nag ng mga iba pang revelasyon. They're still looking for other revelation. But no more revelation. Bible is already complete. All the revelation of God pertaining to life, pertaining to, to goodness, nandito na po. Pertaining to our spiritual life, nandito na po. The Bible is complete. So, kung titignan po natin, they failed the Jews at that time, they the Old Testament message concerning Him, concerning Christ. po. So let us read in John chapter 5, verse 30. Open your Bible with me again. John chapter 5, verse 37. Verse 30. Ito po. John chapter 5, verse 30 to 47. Mahaba rin po ito. Ito po yung pag-witness. I can of myself do nothing as I hear, I judge, and my judgment is righteous because I but the will who sent me. So, sabi po ni dito, no? He does only the will of the Father. Kaya sabi po niya, verse 31, if I bear witness of myself, my witness is not true. There is another who bears witness of me, and I know that the witness which he witness of me is true. You have sent to John, and he has borne witness to the truth. Yes, I do not receive testimony from man, but I say this he said. He was the burning and shining lamp, and you were willing for a time to rejoice in his life. Verse 36, But I have a greater witness than John's for the works which the Father has given me to finish, the very work that I do. Bear witness of me that the Father has sent me. So, in this verses, in John chapter 5, 34 to 7, light failed to understand that Jesus is the Christ, that Jesus is the Savior, that's why in verse 45, he said, 
Do not think that I shall accuse you to the Father. There is one who accuses you, Moses, in whom you trust. For if you believe Moses, you would believe me, for he wrote about me. But if you do not believe his writing, how will you believe my word? They did not understand the message of Moses pertaining to the, the coming Messiah. Kaya po, sa mga panahon din po ngayon, sa panahon din natin, Marami pa rin po ang hindi nakakaintindi po sa lumang tipan. There are, there are some people pa rin po, o even a Christian, believe o sinusunod pa rin po ang lumang tipan. We are under the New Testament po. Kaya kung titignan natin, ano nangyari? What happened? Don't, they, don't, they did not understand Old Testament concerning Christ. They crucified Christ. Means they missed the one they were looking for. The Israelites are looking, but they miss it because they do not understand the Old Testament. That's why they crucified Jesus. Okay, sa kaya, ako ang ating Panginoong Yesus. So, in John 14, 6, there is, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to Father except through me. So, they did not understand that word. And then, hanggang ngayon din po, only Jesus Christ is the way. Only Jesus Christ is the only way. The, our mediator between man and God. So don't look for other God. There is no such God. Only God the Father, God the Son, and God the Spirit. Through Jesus our Lord, we can go to the Father and we can ask everything that we need. Hilingan sa pangalan ni Cristo. Hindi po Sometimes po may mga tao na darasal sa mga babae, darasal po sa iba't ibang mga santo. No. They did not hear you. Only Jesus Christ will hear you. Only God the Father will hear you. That's why Jesus promises what every what everything you ask in my name, it shall be given unto you. So, what does the Lord see in our city? Why he wept when he saw the Jerusalem? He wept Jerusalem. What does the Lord see in our city? Ano ang nakita niya sa siyudad po natin ngayon? Kung titignan natin. So ano bang sinabi po niya? Do you remember John 14.15? John 14.15? And he said, sabi po niya si John 14.15, If you love me, commandments, does Jesus see people in our city obeying his commandment? So, marami nang nagsasabi, mahal nila si Jesus. So many people, I love Jesus, saying I love Jesus. But the truth is, they don't love Jesus. And why? Because they do not keep the commandment of our Lord Savior Jesus. Hindi naman sumusunod sa mga salita ng Panginoon. Are you one of them? No, don't be like one of them. Let us love Jesus by obeying whatever He command us in the New Testament. At sa panahon natin na may crisis pa naman, maraming naniniwala sa mga santo-santo at mga maling pagdarasal. Yan po ang nakakalungkot. Maraming pakirandam nila, sumusunod sila sa utos ni Jesus. Ang katotohanan naman ay hindi. So, let us check ourselves, brothers and sisters. Are you obeying the commandment of God in time of this crisis? So, titinan po natin, do you really love Jesus? So, sometimes, also, Jesus saw self-righteousness, not the righteousness of Jesus. Sometimes, mas tinitinan po natin ang ating mga sarili, kaysa po tinan natin ang Panginoon. In Romans chapter 10, verse 1 to 3, Open your Bible with me again. In Romans chapter 10, verse 1 to 3. And here is the word of the Lord for us today. Romans chapter 10, verse 1 to 3. Brethren, my heart desire and prayer to God for Israel is that they may be saved. Look at the, Paul, the prayer of Paul, that they may be saved. For I bear them witness that they have a zeal for God, but not according to knowledge. See, so many people today, they, they have a seal. 
they have a seal or they have believed, they have faith in God, but the truth, sabi nga po, is not according to the knowledge. What knowledge? The knowledge gave to us in the New Testament that He gave to His apostle. That's why we need to study more and know His commandment. Verse 3, For they being ignorant of God's righteousness and seeking to establish their own righteousness have not submitted to the righteousness, righteousness of God. So, mas inuuna po yung self-righteous natin. No, matuwid. Akala mo matuwid tayo. Sometimes we thought that we are righteous. No, we can be righteous only if we submit to the righteousness of God. Kaya po, sabi niya po, sa may uh, verse 3, sabi niya, napaganda po, no? Is, uh, establish their own righteousness, not the righteousness of God. That's why Jesus wept over of Jerusalem. He saw self-righteousness, not the righteousness of God. So today, what we need, being a Christian, being obe obedient to the commandment of the Lord Jesus, we need to proclaim the gospel. Proclaiming the true gospel message of Christ in the New Testament. In Acts chapter 20, verse 26 and 27. Acts chapter 20, verse 26 to 27. Listen to this, brothers and sisters. I know you were there watching me. Acts 20, 26 to 27. Therefore, I testify to you this day that I am innocent of the blood of all men, for I have not shunned or abhorred you the whole counsel of God. That's why we need to declare the whole counsel of God. What does this mean, the whole counsel of God? Only the word of the Lord. That's why sabi niya po, Natin ito. Let us share the true gospel of the Lord. In that way, people will understand more in our time. People will understand more the true knowledge that Jesus impart to his disciples, impart to his apostles, and that was imparted to us by his apostles. In Tagalog, kaya sa araw na ito ay sinasabi ko, hindi ako mananagot kung mapa mapahamak ang sino man sa inyo. Sapagkat, hindi ako nag-atubiling ipahayag sa inyo ang layunin ng Diyos. So, hindi po tayo mananagot. Pero, if you did not proclaim the word of the Lord, the Lord sabi po dito, sabi niya, ikaw po ay mananagot. That's why you need to proclaim the word of the Lord nandito na natin na binabanggit po. So, number two, encourage our own brethren to faithfulness. Kailangan po natin magtulungan. Let us help one another to encourage one another, love one another. In Hebrews chapter 10 verse 24, it said, And let us consider one another in order to stir up love and good work. At this time of crisis that we are facing right now, so let us not be wary. Let us not stop to encourage one another in order to stir up love and good work. Continue to help one another. Continue to strengthen one another. Continue to pray for one another. Yan po ang kailangan natin sa ating pong syudad. Sabi nga, sikapin din natin gisingin ang damdamin ng bawat isa sa pagmamahal, sa kapwa, at sa paggawa ng mabuti. Tagalog version po. Ang ganda po. Hindi po ba? It's so beautiful. Sikapin natin. Do your best. Kung titinan po natin. Do your best. Stir up love and good work sa ating mga kapatiran. Binigyan po tayo ng Panginoon discipleship. He gave us the details about discipleship. In Matthew chapter 16 verse 24 to 26. I'm going to read it to you. Then he said to Paul, to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. For whoever desires to 
But whoever loses his life for my sake will save it. For what profit is it to a man if he gained the whole world and he is himself destroyed or lost? So kung titinan po natin sa Tagalog. Sinabi ni Jesus sa kanyang mga alagad, ang sino mang nagdanais sumunod sa akin ay kinakailang itakwil niya ang kanyang sarili, pasanin ang kanyang krus at sumunod sa akin. Ang naghangad na malig- magligtas ng kanyang buhay ay mawawalan nito. Mawalan ng kanyang buhay alang-alang sa akin. nito sapagkat ano ba ang mapapala ng isang tao? Makamtan man niya ang buong daigdig, ngunit mapapahamak naman ang kanyang sarili? Ano ba ang maibabayad na isang tao para mabawi niya ang kanyang buhay? So kung titignan po natin, brothers and sisters, Jesus wept, o Jesus cried, if we continue to did not deny ourselves, let us deny ourselves and follow Him. Because, Ano ba ang babayad natin? Sabi doon, Even we gain the whole world in self-righteousness, even the, we gain the whole world in our popularity, in our rich, in our treasure. What does it profit? Mawala naman, mawala naman ang kaluluwa mo. That's why po, umiiyak po ang Panginoon. Kuminsan, if we continue to look more on material things, not on our spiritual things. That's, that's why we need to follow Jesus and take up His cross daily para po siya ay maging masaya. So there is also a warning that Jesus has given to us. For whoever is ashamed of me, in my words of Him, the Son of Man will be ashamed when He comes in His own glory and his father and of the holy angels that was taken in Luke chapter 9 verse 26 in Tagalog kapag ako at ang aking mga salita ay ikakaya ni numan ikakaya rin siya ng anak ng tao pagparito niya na taglay ang kanyang karangalan at ang karangalan ng ama at ng mga banal na anghel so kundin niyo po umiiyak po ang Panginoon kapag tinakwil po natin siya, pag tinanggi po natin ang kanyang mga salita. If we continue to deny yung kanyang word, if we continue to be ashamed of, his, of his, our Lord Jesus Christ, if we continue to be ashamed of His word, I think Jesus wept. Isa din po yan sa kanyang iniiyakan. That's why, wag po tayo, wag po natin ikahiya ang kanyang salita. Wag po na, don't be ashamed of sharing the gospel. Don't be ashamed to share that we are our Lord. Huwag niyo po ikaya na kayo po ay tagasunod ng ating Panginoon. No doubt. Jesus I never knew you depart from me. If we are ashamed of Him and if we are ashamed of His word. Kapag ikinahiya po natin ang ating Panginoong Yesus at ang kanya po mga salita, sasabihin niya po, I never knew you depart from me. Yan po ang nakakaiyak po. Tignan po natin na binabanggit. So, kung titignan po natin, sabi niya po, Now it happened as they journeyed on the road that someone said to him, Lord, I will follow you wherever you go. And Jesus said to him, Foxes have holes and birds of the air have nests. But the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. Then he said to another, Follow me. Let me first go and bury my father. Ano ang mali? What was wrong on this birth? Itinan na natin. See? He said, Let me first go and bury my father. Wala naman po masama doon. Pero, ang sabi ng Panginoon, Jesus answered, let the dead bury their own dead. But you go and preach the kingdom of God. So we need to prioritize po ang pag-preach po about the kingdom of God. And another also said, Lord, I will follow you, but let me first go and bid them farewell who are at my house. Jesus said to him, No one having put his hand to the and looking back is fit for the kingdom of God. See po, 
hindi raw po karapat dapat sa kanyang kaharian. Yung sinasabi po. That's why we always look forward to Jesus. We always follow Jesus. We always focus our eyes to Jesus. We always continue the gospel of the world. One more thing, Jesus web is if there is a division among us, if there is a division among his followers, sabi po niya, John chapter 17, verse 20, 21, his prayer, Jesus' prayer, I do not pray for this alone, but also for those who will believe in me through their word, that they all may be one as you, Father, are in me, and I in you, that they also may be one in us, that the world may believe that you sent me. So Jesus' prayer that we must all be one. We must all be united. Don't make any division. Because sometimes, kuminsan, we create a division when we followed our opinions instead of the word of the Lord. So sometimes, we need to be, it is very important that we need only to obey and understand God's word. So when we are divided, Jesus wept. God does not want division with His followers. He wants us to be united. We can be united when we have, when we understand, when we submit to the righteousness of God. Only when we follow Jesus' command. Kaya po, kung titignan, we need to sacrifice more. In Romans chapter 12, verse 1, do you remember it? Sabi na po dyan, I beseech you therefore, nakikiusap ako. Sabi niya, mga kapatid, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service. Yan po ang sinabi po sa Roman 12.1. Sabi niya, nakikiusap ako sa inyo mga kapatid sa awa ng Panginoon na i-present po ninyo ang inyo pong mga buhay na hain. So let us always sacrifice for our God. Despite of what we are facing today, we all need to continue to offer our bodies as living sacrifice. Let us give happiness to all people and doing that, we give happiness to our Lord. And that's the way Jesus will not weep. Jesus will not weep. Na natin. Kailangan po natin magbigay tayo lagi ng kaligayahan sa bawat isa po. No po. But when he saw the multitudes, he was moved when, with compassion for them because they were weary and scattered like sheep having no shepherd. Matthew chapter 9 verse 36. He has compassion when he saw multitude. Nakita po niya ang mga tao po, parang walang pastol. Pagala, naggala-gala lamang, at napapagod, walang nag-agapay. Kung titinan po natin, no, do we have compassion too? How about you? How about us? Do we have compassion over the lost souls? Naawa sa bahay mo? sa mga classmate mo, sa mga kaibigan mo, sa mga kamag-anak mo. Do you have compassion? Just like Jesus said in Matthew 9:36, when he saw the multitude, he was moved with compassion. So let us share sa mga kamag-anak, sa kapitbahay, kaibigan, mga kaklase. Let us share the word of the Lord. Christ wept. Also, one more reason, Christ wept also for the impending judgment. There will be judgment na darating po. In 2 Thessalonians 1, verse 7 to 9, And to give you who are troubled rest with us when the Lord Jesus is revealed from heaven with His mighty angels in flaming fire taking vengeance on those who do not God and on those who do not obey the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
This shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of His power. So let us have compassion, brothers and sisters, because the judgment is coming. Kung titignan po natin, for those who do not know God, everyone knows God. But the problem is that everyone does not obey. Only few people obey the gospel of our Lord. And that's why we are so blessed, because we have obeyed the gospel of our Lord Jesus. If we are blessed today, so let them other people be blessed. No, Let us be a blessing to other people by sharing His gospel so that someday, alam ko po, pagdating ng judgment, wala nang iyakan. Galit po ng Panginoon darating. Kaya sabi nga niya po, in 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 10, sa Tagalog po, sabi niya, ang Panginoon ay hindi nagpapabaya sa kanyang pangako gaya ng inaakala ng ilan. Hindi pa niya tinutupad ang pangakong iyon alang-alang sa inyo. Why? Binibigyan pa niya ng pagkakataon ang lahat upang makapagsisi at tumalikod sa kasalanan sapagkat hindi niya nais na may mapahamak God does not want anyone to be perished. That's why he commanded to sabi po niya, that's why we need to be to help other people how to understand repentance. We need to share the gospel. Jesus is not willing that any should perish. In 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 9. This morning po, what about you? Jesus wept because of sin. It's past, present, and future war. Some it's too late. Remember the words of Jeremiah? I am going to read Jeremiah chapter 8 verse 20. The harvest is past. Jeremiah chapter 20. The harvest is past. The summer is ended. And we are not saved. Tinan nyo po. Nakakalungkot po. Yeah, that's why we all need to be saved. We are so blessed. We have the assurance of salvation when we obey Jesus Christ. When we follow Jesus Christ. When we follow His only commandment. Not the opinion of man. Not any only the doctrine of Christ. Sabi po doon. Kaya sabi nga niya, people can be saved today. Who can, who are going to teach, are going to teach your classmate? Who are going to you? Tayo. Tayo ang magtuturo sa kanila. Keeping the commandment of Jesus. If you love me, Keep my commandment. On judgment day, Jesus will not weep anymore. So as long as we are alive, let us have true faith in God. On the last day, sino po ang iiyak sa uling araw? Those who did not follow Jesus. Those who did not obey His word. Those who did not contend for the faith and those who will be thrown in hell. Yan lamang po ang mga iiyak. Diba? Sabi po, meron pong the gnashing, talaga po nangangalit ng mga ipit at iyakan doon po sa naglalagablab na apoy. Yan po. Sabi doon, those who did not follow Jesus, those who did not obey His word, those who did not contend for the faith, and those who will be thrown in hell. Maawa po tayo. Let us have compassion for those people who are not yet with Christ, who does not obey the true commandment of God through Jesus Christ our Lord in the New Testament. Brothers and sisters, this morning po, sa ating pag-aaral po, let us do the work of the Lord. Sabi nga niyan, di ba? Go and preach the word to all nations. Baptizing them in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And teach them to observe all things what I have commanded you. So, yun po ang ating pag-aaral sa umagang ito po. Mga ilang bagay lamang po, naiiyakan po ng Panginoon. Remember, when he saw the Jerusalem, he wept. Why? He has compassion so many people. So, let us all pray. 
God in heaven, thank you so much for this wonderful word. Thank you so much for guidance by your spirit as we study thy word. O oh God, help us to understand more. Help us to do thy work, O oh Lord God. Give us more courage, wisdom, and strength. And most especially, God, thank you so much, our Lord. With him, O oh Lord, we understand thy word. With him, O oh God, we have an access to you. Through Jesus, we are saved. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, we all know the way. Father, help us to teach thy way to other people. Thank you, Father God, for your love, for your mercy, for everything that you've bestowed upon us. In Jesus Christ, name we pray. Amen. Magandang uh, maga po. Ngayon po, dako po tayo sa banal na hapunan.